Mr. Heckway Boxing today. Hey, what's up, man? This is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man, so Jarrell Miller, I'm, I'm looking at this article on BoxingScene.com, and Jarrell Miller says, I'll KO Washington, I want Deontay Wilder next. All right, let me just read what Jarrell had to say. I'm going to get my opinion about all this stuff. Uh, he goes on to say, I can't wait to get in the ring in my hometown. There's going to be great energy and great excitement. Jarrell Washington is a good opponent for me coming back from a long layoff. I believe he's been out for about 11 months, just a little over 11 months. Then he says, uh, most people wouldn't go right into a fight so challenging, but I'm a warrior built, and I've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, a lot of these dudes, man, you know, whenever you want to get in, put them in a fight with a guy like a on the level of a Gerald Washington or something like that, you know, some guys that say have to shake the ring rust off and, you know, all that type of shit, which is cool if that's what, you know, they want to do when their managers and their promoter wants to do. But I'm glad that he's going right into a fight like this because he could take a journeyman, you know what I mean, and he'll and uh the fans will get on him for it because he does have a big mouth, and these fans don't care if you've been out eleven months. When you talk the shit that Jarrell Miller talks, fans want to see you in there fighting, you know, good opposition. And this is the same way I feel about Dillian White to some degree, um, you know. So, and Arthur Spilka came back from a very long layoff, and he jumped in there with Adam Kon uh, Konaski. So, and Konaski was a fifteen and zero pro uh, prospect, and he lost. Spilk a loss, but he still got up in there with him. All right, then Miller goes on to say, my main thing is to go in there and knock him out. However the knockout comes, it comes. This is boxing, so anything can happen in there. Deontay Wilder is different to me, and I'm going to show that. I hope that I can get a fight with Wilder after this one. If he'll come to New York, then even better. I think my progression is, a, is ahead of where he was. We're going to keep fighting get knockouts, and eventually a world title fight, all right, so Miller had to take care of business tomorrow night, man, before any of that comes to fruition for him, has to take care of business, now, as far as him talking shit about Deontay Wilder, I'm sure a lot of fans would say, hey, Mr. Boxing, you're overrating this guy, I guess we'll see tomorrow, but you're overrating this guy, and uh, he's just trying to talk his way into a championship fight, don't be fooled, I guess to some degree he is trying to talk his way into a fight. And, but Wilder isn't the only person he talks shit about or has talked shit to. This is Jarrell Miller. This isn't a <clears throat> this isn't a Deontay Wilder has a title, so he's trying to talk shit to get a title shot. He's been doing this forever, man. I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna leave a um uh, I'm gonna leave a link to a video he did in two thousand and nine. He was one and oh. Miller was one and oh. Wilder had to either be eight or nine and no at the time. He was calling Wilder out then. There's a YouTube video from a long time ago, man. I'm going to leave it in the description box for you guys. He's always been taking jabs at Wilder. Always when he was one and oh, and Wilder was eight. He had to been eight or nine and oh. So he's always done this. This isn't just Wilder has a title. Now he's talking shit. He's always talked shit. Now, these guys having titles, yes, he wants to fight the title holders, and Wilder happens to have one, but he's always talked shit about Wilder, you guys, always, so none of this shit's new to me. Um, what about what he did with uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. last year? You guys remember after the Josh Gormley fight in Michigan, they had that fight in Michigan, literally after the fight, in the ring, Ruiz is getting interviewed, Jarrell Miller comes in the ring, takes the mic from Andy Ruiz Jr., and starts talking shit right in his face. You know, so he, this, this is just Jarrell Miller, man. Uh, trying to think of something else that he's done that was kind of like, damn. Uh, oh, the shit last year that he had with Stavern and Trevor Bryan. I remember down there at the uh, heavyweight factory down in Florida when they were going back and forth on social media. Miller was talking shit to Stavern and Trevor Bryan. For those of you that don't know, Trevor Bryan is an undefeated prospect. I believe he's like 18 or 19 and 0, something, something like that. Uh, works with uh, Stacey McKinley. But anyways, they were talking shit on social media, and he says he's going to come down to Florida and get that work and blah, blah, blah. And then like a few, I think it was like a week or so later, he goes down to Florida. He gets he gets into that confrontation with Stavern at the gym, and he did end up sparring Trevor Bryan. But I guess Stavern, I guess him and Stavern really didn't get along like that, and Stavern didn't even want to spar him. I, I think Briggs kind of stepped, Shannon Briggs kind of stepped in the middle of it. Um 
but he did but he did end up sparring Trevor Bryan. I actually have that footage on my page. You guys can look it up on YouTube. But this is Jarrell Miller. He talks a lot of shit. Now it's time for him to get these fights like a Gerald Washington and back it up. Um So yeah, man, him saying this about Wilder, this no if look, if he wins tomorrow night, expect him to get on the mic, especially if he is to beat Washington in a much more, how can I say, uh, impressive fashion than Wilder did. Now, the end result is Wilder beat Washington, right? He got the stoppage, all right? So that's the end result. But I'm just saying, if he was to look more impressive, expect him to talk shit about Wilder, about how easy it was. And Wilder, you know, this is Jarrell Miller, man. You know what I mean? Like, this is just him. He's always been like this since I've known of him as a fighter. Way back in 2009 when he was 1-0, and all right? Um... Then I know him and Wilder, they got into it on the radio. You guys remember that one when they got into it on the radio when Miller called in the radio station they were going at it. And, you know, Wilder said that he knocked him out before in sparring and sent him home, gave him a concussion. I do believe that Miller did go to the hospital. I don't know if he got knocked out cold or not because according to him, he says that he was out of shape when he sparred, when he sparred uh, Wilder. He said he was out of shape. Miller did. He said he was out of shape when he sparred Wilder, and he was still piecing Wilder up, but he did have to go to the hospital. I wasn't there. I'm not sure what happened. You know what I mean? But from what I'm hearing, Wilder did get the best of them when they sparred. Uh, then I heard Miller say, Alabama was Alabama. I'm a better fighter to today. I was out of shape, blah, 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 right? Um, so I guess we'll see, man. I still want to. I still would like to see Wilder fight Miller somewhere, somehow down the road, but right now I want to see these unification bouts get cleared up. Wilder has shit going on with Stavern. Um, you know what I mean? So I know he's trying to fight Luis Ortiz, but I'm not sure that Stavern is going to be, uh, looked over, man. Stavern has Jane Prince and what's the other dude's name? Dubin. He got them to represent him, man. And uh, I think he's going to get his, uh, mandatory shot before anybody fights Deontay Wilder. That's just my opinion about it. But yeah, man, then I've heard Miller say after he fights Washington, he wants Stavern and he, I heard him say Dillian White. Him and Dillian White is, man, can you imagine that one? Dillian White and Jarrell Miller. <laughs> the shit talking is going to go on before the fight. Um, now, Chisura and Dillian White, that was cool. But I think this would be more just verbal. I don't think there would be no tables thrown. But I think this would be more, I think this would be even more entertaining as far as going back and forth. Because they're, you know, witty guys and they, you know, they can bounce off each other as far, you know, with the verbal shit. They can go back and forth. You know what I mean? And plus, I think it would be an action fight against two hungry guys that'd be uh top 15 type of heavyweight some of you guys may have dealing white in your top 10 some of you guys may have miller in your top 10 but somewhere around there you know what i mean top 10 whatever top 15 somewhere in there all right so yeah man this is no surprise to me um i would like to see the fight uh miller um has to take care of business tomorrow night so after tomorrow night we'll go from there you know, but if he gets beat tomorrow night, man, whew, he's going to get attacked uh, online. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but you guys let me know what you think in the comment section about Jarrell Miller shit being Jarrell Miller. He's always been like this, y'all, for years, man. But you guys let me know what you think about this, man. I'm out.